Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is going to be reviewing this laptop that I showed you guys about a week ago which is the MacBook Air 13 inch um, laptop and this is just the base model and I showed you guys this laptop and unboxed it for you about a week ago, yes, and I am just going to tell you literally everything that I can about this laptop just to warn you before you buy it or if you already bought it and you haven't um, had it for longer than the return policy, I am going to tell you everything that I feel about this laptop. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons and what I like about it and what I don't and I just have a lot to talk about so let's get started. Before we start I just want to give you guys a huge thank you on all your nice comments on my last video. I was pleasantly surprised because I gave a disclaimer in the beginning of the video like hey I am not a tech channel I am just super excited to open this laptop. I have a few customizing tips to give you guys but a lot of you gave me such great feedback and a lot of you were able to use my customizing tips to use on your laptop and so that just made me so happy. If I can help you guys in this world that is my main goal. I have seen reviews of this um, laptop and I watched them just like how you guys are before I bought it and I'm just going to say right now that I knew that I wanted to buy the Pro and I knew I wanted to use the laptop that I bought next for editing and for YouTube and mainly for using Final Cut Pro but to stay within my means I just not settled but I knew that what I could afford and what was in my budget was the MacBook Air. And before this laptop, I did have the 2015 version of the MacBook Air, and that one was getting me through. I used it all throughout college and even after and now. And I recently just basically ran out of storage space. I only had 128 gigabytes, which this one has 256. And it was just gonna be really slow in editing, and I love making YouTube videos more than anything, so I was like, I need a new laptop. But right now, this is what I can afford, even though I want the Pro, and the Pro is made for editing and is great for photo editing and videos. I just knew that I was gonna get this laptop in the meantime, and then when I could, get the Pro. So that being said, luckily this laptop does have a lot more storage than my other one, but you know, it is still a MacBook Air, and if I were to tell you guys one thing, if you're going between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, if you are editing on your laptop for videos, for YouTube, for you know, um, just anything really heavy editing and just heavy storage, I would definitely go with the Pro. And if you're just using it for basic usage, like for school, writing papers, surfing the web, watching movies, um, that would definitely be great to use for this MacBook Air. And that's like the main question I got from you guys, like why didn't you get the Pro versus the Air or what's the difference? And so for the Air, it's good for basic usage. So that's just my overall thing to say about the Pro and the Air. And so for myself, I know that I want to get the Pro after this and I thought it would be a while until I get that. But I mean, the way this laptop has been, I don't know if I can wait that long. And so I'm going to tell you guys everything about this laptop from the outside to the inside and just any little detail that I can, especially if you're watching this before purchasing one, I'm just going to tell you what to expect and basically what my experience has been for the past week. So to start off with, you will notice that there are two USB-C ports on the left side. And just to start off with that, I wish that they could have put one on each side. That would just be very convenient, especially for when you're charging your laptop. You can either go on each side, depending on where you are in your room or wherever you're charging block is that would just be nice so that's just my one thing but that's very minor and small so that's that and on the other side there is one um, headphone jack which I was very surprised to put that on this laptop because they have gotten rid of their headphone jack for a long time for their iPhones at least and so I was a little surprised and wondering why they put that in there but hey it's in there and it's easy to use so that's nice Another question also was the color of this laptop. In that video, I said it looked to me more like a bronzy color than an actual gold. So I'm just gonna try to find something gold in my room right now to show you guys. So this is a tape holder with no tape in it, but it works for what <laughs> its purpose is right now for color. So this to me is a true gold color in my opinion. And then this is what the laptop looks like. So if you put it side by side, this is very yellow gold. And this to me is just a bronzy color. And then the icon in the middle, you guys will probably know Notice that it doesn't glow up which I don't mind I think it actually looks really nice and sleek but I noticed some people they actually like that icon a lot and my old laptop I can find it my old laptop looks like this anyways I just covered it with a marble case so I never even noticed the icon glowing and I need to get a case for this one but oh that's another thing too 
the laptop side by side the 2015 and 2021 this one is so much lighter you will feel a difference right away if you had this laptop already this one is extremely light and i obviously don't have a case on this yet but i can't imagine it adding too much weight to it so that is everything that i really have to say about the outside of this laptop now let's go inside and open it so the first thing is this keyboard that I noticed. This keyboard is really, really nice. And with the keys being closer together, I have noticed I have not had as many errors as the other one, which I know how to type. I just think that, you know, obviously we all make mistakes, but with this keyboard, it is so easy to use. And then also you will notice there is a little square in the upper right corner here, and that is for the touch ID. So I'm gonna just show you guys how well this works. It is super fast. So here you see my home screen. I'm just gonna touch it like this. And there we go it took literally seconds so that is a really good feature of this laptop I will say it makes it really easy not to have to type your password in, especially if it's a long password so that I do really love and here I'm actually using Final Cut Pro and let me put this laptop down just to tell you about what I have been experiencing so for Final Cut Pro I use Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos and I have noticed that if I have more than seven tabs up in my Safari or Chrome, whatever search engine, it just doesn't work, which I don't know why, which is extremely frustrating. And so for the past week, I have noticed that when I have more than seven tabs open in Safari, the computer does get much slower and therefore Final Cut Pro actually just starts to freeze up on me. And the only thing that I can do is just right click and force quit the application and just start over, not on the whole like project, but just start over on re um, uploading the application. So that is very frustrating. Um, that is why I say that I thought I could could use this laptop as you know for now and that is also why I didn't get any upgrades on it because I knew this was just like a like a middle laptop I knew I wanted to get the pro after this and I knew that it wasn't gonna take much longer I just right now could only feel comfortable buying this laptop at this price and so that's just very disappointing to me and I knew this laptop wasn't meant for heavy editing and heavy you know video edits but it's just kind of ridiculous to me how you can only basically work on one thing at a time and basically the eight gigabytes of RAM cannot handle multiple activities at one time it's just good at handling one activity so that kind of sucks next thing you will notice is this trackpad is pretty big but for me um, I don't really notice anything different about this trackpad than the other one even though it is bigger but like I said I think I mentioned it but I use this mouse so I don't have to really touch the trackpad a lot because when you edit videos it is just so much easier to use a mouse than the trackpad in my opinion so I just use that mouse I can definitely link this mouse below another question that I got was does this laptop overheat or just get really hot and I think the actual like definition or term for overheating is when it actually crashes on you and starts over and shuts down so it doesn't do that but i do notice when i'm exporting a video it does get hot and the fan does make a noise that is obvious it's not nearly as bad as my 2015 one that one sounded like a vacuum like that one sounded like it was just about to break at any moment so that's why i had to order a new one fast because I knew like okay I don't know how many days you have left so I'm just gonna order a new one someone asked how long it take to get here I think I ordered it April 28th and then it came May 6th but when I ordered it um, it said it would come May 6th but then it also gave me an update that was gonna come May 11th or 12th and I was kind of disappointed I was really sad I was like man I can't upload any more YouTube videos I'm gonna wait a long time but surprisingly it came early so that's a nice thing it came um, a few days early so that was really good and then you guys also asked for the cost this laptop retails at a thousand dollars so at $9.99 but I somehow got a discount of a hundred dollars when I bought it but when I checked out it just automatically gave me some discount that was for like an education like you're like a student or a teacher which I'm neither so that was nice and I felt a little guilty because I'm not a student or teacher but you know I couldn't take the promo code off it just kind of gave it to me so with the promo code it was $8.99 and then obviously with tax it was just shy of a thousand dollars and some of you were asking if this laptop will last you all throughout college or high school or whatever education that you're going through right now and I definitely think that it should last you at least through high school college and a little bit after because I had my 2015 laptop for 
now five years obviously and I was in college using it writing papers essays using the web um, watching YouTube videos for how to's and it lasted me up until now basically now like I said it dies and then resurrects itself whenever it wants to but um, I think it should definitely last you long especially since this is the updated version and then like I said it depends on your purpose for me I need to edit right now edit videos that use a lot of storage a lot of data and so this laptop probably for that purpose won't last me very long but if it's for basic usage like for school like writing papers essays surfing the web watching YouTube watching some movies you know I think that it should definitely last you sometime and then some and then just because I didn't put any upgrades on this laptop doesn't mean that you can't so feel free to do that and there's a whole bunch of options on Apple and then another question was can I play sims on this laptop which yes you can definitely play sims and I looked it up on Google you can definitely play it but I have read other reviews about sims and games on this laptop and I've heard that it overheats um, so that's the risk there I mean you can definitely try it why not but just know that this laptop can't handle a lot of things at one time and a lot of activity so if you have like me five um, or seven you know tabs up on Safari and then you have like your video editing program and you add on a game onto that I don't know how well it's gonna do so you can definitely try it out test it out actually let me know how it goes if it works for you guys next thing to dive into is the battery life on this laptop and Apple says that the average battery life is around 11 hours which for me I have never gotten 11 hours on this laptop I have gotten around I think I wrote it down I have gotten around six to seven so with that being said I also wanted to put in that I like the um, screen to be almost at max brightness so that's just my personal preference so that also drains the battery I also like to put on my Bluetooth because I transfer pictures from my phone or from my old laptop onto this laptop a lot and then I also am editing hardcore on it so therefore yes the battery is gonna drain on me much quicker than 11 hours but I really I don't know I can't imagine it really lasting 11 hours unless you were like surfing the web and writing an essay and then taking breaks in between but I mean they say 11 hours but for myself I have not experienced that and the time it takes to charge a full laptop if it is at around 10% is about two hours so I wouldn't say that's you know too long but I also think that you know it could be faster and so if your laptop is charged in the beginning of the day and you want to go to school and use it I think that you should be fine you don't really need your charger if you are using it for school stuff it should last you obviously more than seven hours it did me um, and I think you'd be fine for the day but if you want to bring your charger feel free go ahead I would definitely suggest that just in case but as I'm saying I think that for basic use this laptop would be great for my use not so much all right you guys that is it that's my full review on having this MacBook Air 13 inch for one week the base model version and if you guys have any more questions please 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 leave it down below I love reading your comments I love answering your questions I'm here to help and I also um, in the first video I did a lot of customizing tips but I also have added some more so if you guys want me to make another video of how to customize your MacBook or just honestly any laptop please leave it down below in the comments to make that video for you guys and I definitely will and if you guys want to subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and I'll see you guys next time